Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and in this video, we're gonna break down the new Forma Terra Evo and Terra Evo Low Boots, available at Revzilla.com. So what you're gonna see are two new pairs of boots from Forma, and these are gonna slot in somewhere in their line between what we'd call the Predator 2.0s, which are more of their straight on motocross dirt boots, and they're gonna be a step up from something like the Adventure or the Adventure Low Boots. So they're gonna split the difference, and we're gonna break down the materials, the sizing, and really what you can expect from these boots for the price point in which you're spending. And that price point is gonna be around the $290 mark for the lows and around the $340 mark for the highs. And we'll talk a little bit more about that as we work our way through. But again, they're gonna sit right between the Predator 2.0s, which are north of 500 bucks, and the Adventure and Adventure Lows, which are somewhere lower down around the $300 mark for the tall ones. Um, so really what we're gonna see here is we're gonna see boots that are gonna range from sizes between 38 and 49. Wide range of size, they work really well for a slightly wider footbed as well. So just keep in mind, no surprises from the size chart. Two different colors are available for the tall version. The tall version are available in the black as well as the black and brown. When you're looking at the low boots, which are in front of me, these are available in the brown and black only. Now we've seen the adventure lows as an extremely popular option for people that really aren't taking their adventure bikes off road. What you're getting from the Terra Evo lows as well as the Terra Evo highs are the fact that you're now getting a boot that can be used a little bit more in slight off-road situations. So you're getting yourself into more of this off-roadiness. And really what you're seeing here is the protection that's gonna be beefed up over the regular adventure boots. So you still have the full grain leather. So you haven't moved to a synthetic, really beefy full grain cowhide with this. TPR and TPU reinforcements. So you have a really solid reinforced toe box and you're gonna have a lot of TPU at the back of the, uh, the boot as well for great heel protection. Now the main thing you'll notice is you now have a stitch sole. So where the, uh, the Adventure and the Adventure Lows looked more like a hiking boot sole, you're now getting more of that motocross style uh, sole to this. It is gonna be a true stitch sole that is replaceable and you have a great tread pattern here. So a lot of grip coming from this particular boot. The other thing you'll notice is if you want to, you are gonna get the, uh, the steel, oh, I dropped it. You're gonna get the steel toe cap included in the box, which can be simply screwed right into the sole if you want extra protection up at the toe. And both of those will come with a, a pair. So regardless of which boot you're looking at, uh, you will get either of those included in the box. Now, as you work your way around to the side, again, both of these boots will be CE rated. You are gonna have aluminum buckles, which are now added. The one thing I'll note with the buckles on this, uh, if you are gonna start wearing these in more aggressive situations, you get these covered up in mud, uh, they, they can be a little bit hard to actuate, but the aluminum buckle addition is nice. Um, so you get a more uh, just rigid buckle to this, and it's gonna be something that's gonna be able to take an impact and a beating a little bit more than a plastic buckle. So nice upgrade there. Just make sure that you push the, uh, the buckle all the way in before you start to ratchet it. Otherwise, it's gonna kind of jam up on you. So again, just clean off any mud or dirt or debris that might accumulate in there, and you really shouldn't have any problems. With the low boot, you are gonna see that you have two buckles. If you bump up to the tall boot, that's where you get the third buckle with this. Now, the one thing I wanna note is that you are gonna see this bracket system on the side. It looks like a hinge bracing system. There's really no hinging aspect to this. It's really just gonna be a TPU bracket that runs up the side of this. Now, what I like about this with the low boot is it definitely adds a bit of rigidity and protection over the Adventure Low. So I think this is a really nice step up. If you're looking at the Adventure Low versus the Terra Evo Low, I think this boot is a really solid upgrade for the money. Again, around that $299 price point, low boot, plenty of style, and you can start getting a bit more off-roady with this because you have a slightly beefed up ankle protection. Now, if you were to take a look at the tall boot, one of the gripes that I have with this is that, again, it's not a hinge system, and for as tall as this bracing system is, you can still see that it's not as rigid as I'd like it to be. So it begins to give you a little bit of flex. Um, now again, definitely more rigid than what we're seeing with the Adventures, but you know, you're taking a $60 price point bump over the Adventures as well. Um, so you're now getting into that $340 range, and there's a lot of boots competing around this price. Now what I've yet to see anyone do is I've yet to see anyone create a boot around this price that includes the waterproof protection 
as well as that, uh, that hinge bracing system on the side. So if there was a way that we could see Forma kind of bring their, uh, their full bracing system with the hinges off of their Predator 2.0 and integrate it into this boot, I think you'd really have a, a winner on the hand for the category. As it stands, for around the $340 mark, you are getting the full Drytex waterproof membrane, so this is a waterproof boot, and you are getting beefed up rigidity along the ankles when compared to the Adventure boot. So it definitely is a beefier boot in general. Um, there's just the stiffness on the sole on this is about a seven out of 10. You still have that steel shank, and that's true for both boots, but you can stand up on the pegs, you can work your way through this. Um, so overall, again, it, it is a much beefier boot than what we're seeing with the Adventures. I would just love to see the bracing on this be true hinge bracing, or even if they don't want to run the hinges, give me some real more you know rigid bracing within the boot. You know, getting back to the low one, again, waterproof protection goes right up to the top of the buckle. So when you're looking at the waterproof protection for the, for the taller boot, it runs up to the top buckle there as well. Just make sure that if you're using these boots, whatever waterproof pants you're wearing, cover the top of the boot. Otherwise, you're going to have water running down to the inside, and it defeats the whole purpose of the waterproof membrane. But really what we're seeing from Forma is a evolutionary step in their line with the Terra Evos and the Terra Evo Lows. This is gonna slot in a gap between the Adventures and the Predators. And for those of you out there that have really been fans of the Adventure boots, you just want something a bit beefier, but you wanna maintain that style, Forma wins on style all day long, and now they're just adding in some beefed up protection to make sure your feet stay safe in the event of a crash. Now, there's a lot of folks out there that are utilizing these boots in their rides, and if you want to hear more about what they have to say, now is when you want to click the info button, which will take you to RevZilla.com, and you can read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting these boots through their paces in real-world situations. Now, if you're still not sure as to which pair of boots are right for you, either within Forma's line or across the board, reach out to one of our gear geeks, 877-792-9455, or simply shoot an email over to cs at RevZilla.com, and they can walk you through the process of what boots are going to be best for you and your riding style. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the Forma Terra Evo and Terra Evo Low Boots. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.